Hi everyone, C Chronicles here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you are joining this channel for the very first time, you're most appreciated. Thank you so much for deciding to click on this channel. Now, what we do on this channel is a lot of fragrance review videos. I post four to five different fragrance review videos per week, and uh, I do throw in random content like vlogs from time to time and story times. Now, if that sounds like something that may interest you guys, please do consider joining this channel by subscribing. And to those who are returning, thank you so much, guys, for the continued support. And thank you for making this channel what Welcome it is. Welcome to uh, an Owl Rehab fragrance video. Uh, what I have done is I have grouped all the Owl Rehabs within my collection. I'm going to tell you what um, most of them smell like and what I think they're inspired by. And if you want me to do a follow-up video, obviously I can do uh, that and more in the future. Owl Rehab in itself was founded in 1975. And to date, they have over 200 perfumes. And these perfumes of theirs are a mixture of Middle Eastern as well as Western fragrances. What I have in my collection is going to be mostly Western, maybe one or two Middle Eastern. And I am going to tell you of the ones that I feel are inspirations and the ones that I feel are standalones. If there are some that I talk about today that you feel you want an extensive review, I can obviously do that with pleasure. Now, the first one's going to be Susan. Okay. Now, Susan to me is a warm spicy scent with a touch of fruitiness there and exoticness i'm gonna spray the ones i can but i'm gonna avoid spraying some because the our rehab fragrances especially what i noticed the smaller the mills uh the heavier they are i don't know whether what these guys do is despite you know the size of the fragrance they just put the same concentration of oil or something because some of them can be a bit heady now susan is likened to givenchy's amarish i used givenchy's amarish a long time ago it was not mine it was my mother's and i remember i could wear that to school the whole day without a problem this in itself kind of feels that way uh, but it has, it has a bit rough around the edges, if you will. This particular one, Susan. This, in a way, uh, to me, does capture that nostalgic feel that I get from Amarige by Givenchy. Uh, but it fails to capture that luscious tuberose, if you will, that is in the in Amarige. But then again, it is a DNA that I'm likening it to. I'm not ex necessarily saying it's a dupe. That was our number one, Susan, uh, by Al Rehab. The next one is Zidane. Zidane oh, comes in this box. Sorry, I forgot to show you the box for Susan. This is Zidane. It comes in this box. I'm going to take it out. This is a 35 ml. The, the smaller ones, in a way, seem to have like a very heavy oil concentration to an extent that sometimes when you try to wear them, you know, you end up rubbing them off. Despite the fact that it's a perfume, kind of interprets as though it's an oil. It is like a sweet and sour scent it has something here that feels citrusy it has i think mandarin listed as a note on the note pyramid also has rhubarb but i wouldn't purchase it for the rhubarb note i would purchase this one maybe for the tea note because it does have a beautiful tea note something in there that comes across as soapy marketed as masculine but i can see how this one can be worn by women it has been likened to fendi's life essence for men i just thought instead of just showing you the fragrance and not saying it maybe i might as well you know plug you in in case you're one of those people that love or you know that would want a dupe of that fragrance so yes yeah, sitting on number two is zidane by al rehab the third one on the list is going to be Choco Musk. Okay, Choco Musk is one of the most, uh, this one is the most favorite for many. You know, for many people, this is a common one. This is one that a lot of people would know. This is one when you had to randomly ask a question, which fragrance was made by Auri Hub? Most of them will say Choco Musk. Um, it is a favorite for me as well, but I'll tell you the one that I am absolutely after. And for some reason, I cannot for the life of me get that fragrance. Our rehab has got a fragrance called French coffee. Guys, that fragrance is beautiful. But for some reason, you will not get that fragrance. I saw it on eBay. There was a seller who had it. They were selling it for £39 before shipping. Before I could press pay, it was gone. Okay, so French coffee, I would say, is one of the best from our rehab. And I'll then say the second best is going to be Choco Mask. Now, if you know Choco Mask, guys, this is a warm, spicy scent. There's a reason why this fragrance is popular. It is likened to um, Montal's 
chocolate greedy okay it is likened to montal chocolate greedy why i have the oil is the first thing i did with this fragrance is i bought a box of oil this is a cacao and chocolate mix it's warm it's spicy if you've used this one you know why it's popular it comes in a 50 ml i wish it came in a 100 ml it is just a perfect gourmand at a very very low price so if you want a dupe for montal's chocolate greedy then absolutely want to try there is going to be choco musk the next fragrance on this one uh, on this list is a two tea uh, musk okay two tea musk obviously you can see by that that's that's going to be a raspberry scent okay this is two tea musk uh, this fragrance guys is berry forward if you love berries it's got blackberry it's got black currant it's got raspberry okay so this is going to be tons of fruitiness there with a bit of a rosy nuance but don't buy this one for the rose okay it does have a bit of a rosy nuance it does have rose hip as well adding to that rosy nuance but i get fruit juice here sitting on number four guys is two tea musk. the next fragrance is nebras i think if i'm not mistaken this one should be the one with the middle eastern vibes oh let me just show you the box before i open it so the next one is nebras and this is how it looks okay this bottle is a 30 these little bottles this one is a 35 ml let me and let me just show you the differences between a 35 ml and a 50 ml okay so that's a 35 ml there and then that's a 50 ml and this one is also a 50 ml now anyway uh this is a nebras now this is the one that's going to give you middle eastern vibes for those who want to stay away from middle eastern leaning scents it is mature it is oody it is incensey and it is not going to be everyone's cup of tea this is a complex fragrance and it has like a unisex appeal to it but mostly masculine leaning so i'm gonna put it at 70 percent masculine 30 percent uh feminine this one has been likened to organza or oh, and by organza i'm talking about givenchy's organza okay the only thing that they have in common is i'm gonna ha say they both have that nostalgic feel because uh organza has been about the block it's a it's an oldie but i don't get organza here i get you know a fragrance that is very woodsy very thick uh very powdery let me just smell it again this one doesn't make me happy this one doesn't make me happy at all i don't even know why you know they'll say this one feels like organza and this is not our rehabs you know claiming that it smells as organza it's just you know people claiming and that is why i bought it i was hoping it would give me even 10 or 20 percent of what feels like organza i don't get that at all I get loads of woods get an instantly feel i get a smokiness i get a powderiness i get all the stuff that i am not too keen on and it's just here guys because i spray it not on myself but i do spray it so yeah this is nebras guys a mature instantly scent by our rehab next fragrance here is going to be this one this is a randa okay randa uh, comes in this box gotta show you this is also a 35 ml okay so it comes in this box and it comes in that uh, frosty uh, little bottle like the rest of them not sure let me just spray this one although i think i still remember how this one smells like just spray it a little okay now the the auri hub fragrances guys are so strong this is the sort of fragrance that you spray and you walk into and then you you smell of it the whole day it is strong it is not they're not light this is why i said i think they use the heavy concentration in the in the smaller ones because these 50 mls are actually giving me edp kind of vibes but the smaller ones come across to me as though you know they come across as though they're straight or something like that so this is randa marketed for women uh it has a touch of masculinity to it here but it does have a floral that is so loud and makes it feel as though you know it is a fragrance that's going to be liked by a lot of women than it would be liked by men although i always say you wear what you want to wear it is leathery it's got a touch of tobacco a touch of spiciness there a bit of some emberiness there 
a touch of wood a touch of wood as well but not too much this is a beastly in performance i literally had to wash this off you know uh the very first time i got it off the nozzle like this smells fantastic big mistake if you douse it on yourself you if you're in town or someplace where it's not close to home you're literally going to go and buy new clothes that's how heavy this stuff is and it can literally blast people around you off because it's too much the, the, the plus side of this one is it's nostalgic so if you grew up in the 90s or you're an 80s baby like myself you are gonna like this old-fashioned kind of smell that it carries it has that old-fashioned old money a nostalgic feel dated kind of feel for you to enjoy this fragrance you've got to be somebody who really likes your fragrances loud so yes sitting on number six is uh al rehab's randa and i couldn't find what this one is a dupe of so this could very well be a standalone if it turns out that i do find something that is similar to this i will bring it and i'll review it so yes guys that is randa now guys please do consider subscribing if you haven't already if you have thank you so much i do appreciate that what we're going to do now is we're moving on to the oils um the reason why i'm having to state that we use, we're moving on to the oils is what do they call this sometimes the way the oils project sometimes the way oils interpret on the skin on the clothes is different from how uh, you know the fragrance itself in alcohol will interpret so that is the only reason why i'm explaining this so if you went and you bought the perfume and it turned out that it was not as lasting as the oil that is because there is a slight difference you know in how oils interpret this is an our rehab oil and it's called soft this oil guys is an outright dupe without any shame for aquilina's pink sugar if you're looking for this fragrance if you cannot find this fragrance if you want to know how this fragrance smells like please save yourself some money and buy soft let me show you the bottle okay just showing you the box so that uh, you are familiar with the boxes as well so this is soft the oil let me just cover that so that we've got no glare okay so that is soft guys that is the perfume oil to be honest i cannot tell them apart i love 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 pink sugar it's my go-to comfort scent it is caramelly it is candy forward it's citrusy it's gummy bears in a nutshell buy yourself some um buy yourself some jelly babies but gummy bears open the package just put your nose there especially if there's raspberry ones strawberry ones there just put your nose there what you're gonna smell there that candy is going to be exactly identical to pink sugar so with this oil because it's got the lasting power to match what i do is i pair the two i wear my alkalina pink sugar with the oil not because pink sugar has no lasting power if you use this fragrance guys don't underestimate this fragrance this fragrance does have a good lasting power but if i want to go you know the extra mile i boost it with soft now if you want a side by side comparison of these two i can bring them as a separate review but i am just saying to you guys don't look at the owl rehab oils and think mm, because these guys are not the oils nail it in terms of duping the fragrances just like um just like this one this oil this choco mask you know the, i've had this choco mask for a long time i loved it a lot and then you know i i then saw people saying oh it is a dupe of uh, chocolate greedy and i went and i sniffed montal's chocolate greedy to be honest they, there was really nothing that i was missing there it smells exactly like this so our rehab oils guys they don't play the next oil on the list is going to be red rose uh if you are familiar with kenzo's flower uh this is suggestive of the fact that it's going to be uh it is similar to that especially if you put it to your nose when i bought mine and i sniffed it i immediately got kenzo flower now if you know kenzo flower that one can be a bit heady as well though it does have like a delicate rose if i'm not mistaken let me just sniff this one to remind myself okay so red rose comes across as delicate feels very rosy it has 
it has the violets there and that jasmine so it is a concoction of florals there but it has the sweetness they're tying down everything and it must be a sweetness coming off the vanilla so this is going to dry down a sweet floral and musky little bit of some powderiness there one thing that i have to mention you've got to love powdery scents for you to appreciate red rose uh, which i feel is the same thing you know that comes across in kenzo flower the kenzo flower can for some be a bit too powdery there so this one is going to give you that as well but in terms of duping this is another one that i would say is an outright dupe that actually nails it so sitting at number eight is red rose now the ninth oil on this list is our fez and it's marketed for men and this one is likened to kelvin klein's eternity for men okay so i don't have eternity for men uh but i'm gonna tell you my thoughts i'm gonna give you what i think this one smells like let me just show you the the little bottle okay this is the 6 ml bottle so it's called alfez marketed for men and this fragrance let me just sniff it a little and tell you okay this one's herbal it's aromatic it's got a touch of green there, a little bit of some greenness there. Yeah, definitely. Um, but to me, just by sniffing it here, and I did, uh, you know, dab it a little on my arm the other day, it does feel like a fragrance that I can totally wear. This one has a classic nature to it kind of has an old-fashioned vibe to it but then again you know i've been saying that about the other few here that there is something in the our rehab fragrances that comes across as how fragrances were done a long time ago and maybe it's because this is a house that was founded in 1975 so they tend to 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 to, to kind of vibe with this v dna that feels a bit classic okay i get that from here and that is the only con i can say about this that maybe this is not going to be universally um taken to by the youngsters because it does feel as though it's a heady kind of 90s scent uh it does have a sharpness there but not bad if you wanted an alternative for ck eternity for men then this is one for you i'll first buy our rehab now the next fragrance here is going to be this one okay this is in this one's called oud and rose okay and it's an oil again well this fragrance to me comes across as just a typical oud and rose uh you know oud and ro rose kind of uh scent and by that i mean it's gonna smell like a lot of oud and rose combos out there good thing being if you love the sophisticated ones and you don't have them you know uh the coins to spare for those uh the likes of uh ombre nomad by louis vuitton the likes of my theory noir by louis vuitton the likes of Armani, Privé, Rose de Rabi, they all kind of have this oud and rose combo uh, to an extent that it, it has become a DNA that when I smelt it the very first time, I was so happy to smell it. But it's now kind of like a DNA that is just overly done and this feels the same. But it is a fragrance that's going to wow you if you haven't got a lot of the oud rose combos in your collection because yes, it definitely gives you that oud and rose together with, of course, the sweetness. It's got a, like a sticky sweet kind of vibe to it so yeah that's all i can say about this one not bad if you haven't you know used a lot of those uh combinations that i've talked about it's not bad and it's sitting on our number 10 and it's our rehab oud and rose let's see what we can put at 11 let's put this one at number 11 okay this one is elena 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 okay this one is also a fruity uh, fragrance let me show you the bottle close up okay the the writing in this is in purple so it might be a bit difficult to see okay so this one is called elena and this to me if i remember is a tropical scent yes this is a sweet tropical scent oh guys this is beautiful oh my god this is like a this is like a fruit juice almost like um latafa almost like latafa sakina almost like latafa sakina guys yeah if if you want to know what latafa sakina this is i've had this oil for a while but it never actually registered because i think it's one of those that just rolled to the back of my cupboard but smelling it like this guys it, it's almost identical to latafa sakina it's a fresh tropical fruity floral it is sweet loud it's a punch of fruits 
there's a pear and lychee in here very summer forward guys it's great i wish i could actually get i wish i could actually get um a uh, uh, uh this in in spray form i'm gonna put this one on my tray so that i can remember to kind of like uh you know scour around for it because this is beautiful a lot like latafa sakina i don't know what they were duping when they made this one but this is one that i'll definitely recommend uh you know here and this one is called elena okay this is elena okay elena by our number 12 is this one okay this one is avenue and uh, avenue is your obvious masculine scent okay and this this one's kind of like an in your face telltale kind of one and this you can get even in a big bottle i think you can get this one is in 100 ml and that is because avenue shares the same dna as creed aventus uh it's one that i included here for my male audience so yeah if you're a man uh you wanted to boost your creed aventus or you believe in oils or you you know just want to save your coins and buy something super cheap avenue is your definite alternative for creed aventus guys so this is going to be a masculine scent but again i always say you wear what you want to wear okay now the next one is this one this one's called sabaya okay sabaya sabaya comes in a pink uh box all right so we are going to assume that this one is probably marketed uh for ladies or it is unisex it looks like this all right so we're going to give it a quick sniff here okay right okay okay not after elena okay elena has just taken over i love elena okay okay now sabaya to me doesn't wow me as much as elena but it is a rosy citrusy scent with a leafy greenness there it has like just from the nozzle here it's a bit loud okay a bit loud because i'm not i haven't put this on myself but just from the nozzle it kind of smells as though it is a fragrance that will unfold you know like the ones i always say will open up in the heat kind of you know uh fragrance it comes across as upbeat there's a fruitiness here which could be from a mango and this is just a guess it could be from a mango because i do get wafts of what feels like a mango or, or a peach something like that okay so yeah i would also say for this one i couldn't find a dupe but i'm gonna say if you like the valentino volse viva if you like your amani my way that kind of fragrance family then you're gonna love sabaya so sabaya is here sitting on our uh, number 13 and this is how the box looks like now next up okay this one is obviously for men because it does say it on the box this one is called secret men that is uh the packaging i'm going to take it out and then we give it a quick sniff okay but before then let me show you this is how secret men looks like okay so secret men is obviously going to be for men oh okay okay i'm getting a waxiness here this is what i'm getting offset there is a waxiness to this fragrance so it could be that this fragrance incorporates honey in its nose i'm not sure it is green a tad bit rosy just a tad bit the rose is not doing much here but it is definitely green touch of citruses maybe a bit of some spices there woodsy yeah woodsy yeah there, there, there were some that were saying this one shares similarities with a kenzo uh you know kenzo what's the name of that one kenzo poor arm okay but all i'm gonna say is you if you love your fragrances with that honey sweetness uh maybe a note coming from african orange flower mixed with orange blossom it could be something like that okay because there is like a waxiness there that i'm getting um and that maybe mandarin orange kind of thing going on there but until i wear this then i will know i haven't personally you know spent the day wearing this one but this was sitting on our number 14 and it's called secret men okay so moving on to number 15 okay so we've got how many 17 we're left with two I thought we had 20. Jeez, I need to go to school to learn how to count. Okay, so sitting at number 15 is going to be this one. This one's called Lovely. I thought this one was going to dupe uh, Lovely. I thought it was going to dupe which one now? Uh, Dior. But it's not. I, I thought it was going to be a Dior. What's the name of that Dior? 
I thought it's it was gonna be Jado by Dio, but it's not. Okay. Uh, so this lovely looks like this. Okay, this is the bottle for lovely. We're gonna open it a little and then smell it. Okay, this one's quite faint. But I do get a sweetness here, a light sweetness here. So it's not going to be like a CRP sweet kind of sweetness. Powdery, citrusy, summer leaning. It is very summer leaning, a bit of some zestiness there. You know, like a rind, okay? Like a, a rind of an orange, if you will. Very feminine, if I must say. Oh, yeah, very feminine. In, in, yeah, and okay this is very summery a bit tropical as well uh it's gonna be in the same vein as the escadas you know how they do their fragrances the escadas where they do the fun summery fragrances you know those with the party women and stuff like that in those bottles that look the same but with different colors so yeah this was sitting at number what was it number 15 is lovely by al we have now second from the last guys is going to be this one this one is called myra or mira i don't know my i'm gonna call it myra for the sake of making sure that you buy the right thing if i say mirror it might come across as mirror 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 and then you get the wrong thing or you look for the wrong thing okay so myra looks like this okay uh it looks almost like the same as the pink sugar but it's not the one so if you're gonna go and buy that pink sugar dupe the one called soft please don't make a mistake because it's also kind of like in the same colors as this okay so myra I get a zestiness here, crispness, crispness, like a lemony crispness here, a bit of a sourness. I'm not sure. I cannot say 100% sour because maybe when you wear it on your skin, it turns different. This I haven't worn, you know, on my skin per se. I've just dabbed on my clothes while I was testing this. So yes, it's herbal. It's bright. I get a fun scent, a bright floral, a fruit that feels like peach, maybe like apricots. And I get a tangy feel of orange, if you will. Maybe some woods, maybe sandalwood. Okay, so this is this is uh, Myra, and I couldn't find what this one is a dupe of. So this could very well be a standalone because remember, our rehab do have fragrances that they've created solely on their. So the last one is this one, and it's called Fruit. Okay. This fragrance, guys, exactly what you see on the packaging is what you're going to smell. I'm just going to go ahead and say a few lines about this because I just have to. This is a fruity concoction, guys, and this fragrance is going to give you what you see there. Anyway, fruit is a sweet, fruity scent, tropical scent just by... I don't even have to put this one close to my nose. It's one of those that if you wanted an air freshener in your home, just open this and leave it somewhere. It's going to scent the, the, the whole room, honestly. I get a realistic pineapple from this, a kiwi and apple, grapes, oranges, bananas. It's a mix of all the fruits you can think of, okay? And this is another one that could very well be a standalone as I couldn't find what it was duping. So uh, that is our number, what was it? This is number, our number 17, guys. Please let me know if you want in-depth reviews of some of these ones. If you want comparison reviews of, you know, some of these ones, I would be very happy to oblige. Uh, I went with what I have. Obviously, like I said at the beginning of the video, um, our rehab have over 200, even closing on 300 perfumes. So this is just from my own loot, really. Uh, so there's more out there. Uh, let me know which ones you think are also good i am still on the hunt for coffee for french coffee because i would really love to own that fragrance if it lets me down i just want to own it because of the bottle i think the bottle is a beautiful c chronicles is my name thank you so much guys for joining me today let me in the comment section where we obviously discuss more about fragrances please do consider subscribing if you haven't already i would appreciate you becoming part of the family also turn on notifications guys that way you get to be notified anytime i upload a video like and share this video and remember most importantly guys that smelling good is a form of good manners cheers